my name is Kate and this is a charity shop haul. So everything you're about to see was secondhand. It's all been thrifted and I've got some amazing things to show you. So I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone. And before I get into the haul, I've said hello and make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already done so. And if you aren't like logged in to subscribe to YouTube, that's you logging in. Um, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and uh, you just put your email address and then you won't miss any of your videos. You won't miss any videos from your favourite YouTubers. So make sure you subscribe and give the video a like if you enjoy these charity shop hauls. So before I show you all my items, all my treasure that's waiting for me just to, to the right of me here, um, I've got to do my mug of the day. I don't know if anyone remembers this. You've been watching my videos for a while or since... Um, or since last year, you might remember this mug. I picked it up in Brake Charity Shop in Norwich, and I think it was a quid. So cute, isn't it? A little Halloween mug, a spooky Halloween mug. And what's the make? It says on the bottom, Gates Wear by Laurie, 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 Laurie Gates. So this is my mug of the day. Thank you, Laurie Gates, for designing you. It's so cute. I've got a coffee, but it's a decaf coffee. And I'm going to start with showing you what show you my i'm gonna show you my haul i'm not gonna edit this video so i've just got to keep on going so it'll be one continuous video so i've said it now and i can't go back on it i've got rufus sitting here he's having a snooze but quite quietly and yeah he's just sitting down here he didn't want to be on the landing today he's like no i want to sit next to you so he's just here so you might hear his snuffles so i'm going to start off with i've got some homey bits some wedding bits if we ever get married and some clothes as well and you might have watched a come thrifting with me vlog from a couple of weeks ago and a lot of the stuff I'm about to show you is from that day basically if you didn't watch it I'll link it in the description I'll just show you around the charity shops in Stalham which is in Norfolk and they're always full of treasure there so I need to go back there and have, an, have another little route around so I'm going to start off with a couple of little signs and this one was 50p and it says a house is not a home without a dog so i thought this would be quite nice in the utility i'm not mad on these signs like this i used to be in our previous house it was really shabby chic and i had loads of signs but i think that's quite a cute one i like the color and you know i love it i love dogs and i love rufus so i thought that was quite cute maybe i can put that by rufus's food or somewhere so that was 50p that was from rspca in um uh, Salem in Norfolk and this was a pound or 50p I can't remember it's one or the two and it's a little squirrel and it says nuts about you and I thought that was quite nice for autumn so I can probably put that on my mantelpiece I'll just get rid of the hangy thing and just put him on the mantelpiece because he's very autumnal because a little squirrel and he's nuts about you so that's the second thing I'm going to show you in this video right so when I did do some filming you might have seen I filmed like a little box and it had some wedding bits in. So I ended up getting them. So you might have seen these already because I think I just showed them on the floor. So a little box of photo booth props. So we're meant to be getting married, me and Lee, next year. We're meant to be getting married this year, but obviously lockdown happened and the world is upside down at the moment. But I don't even know if we're going to be able to next year. I don't know what's going to happen, but I got these anyway because they're only a quid. Ginger A photo booth props. Hopefully we'll get to use them. They just look lovely. So there's all different ones on the back. So we can use those. If not, we'll just, you know, I'll just pass them along to someone else and they can use them eventually. But hopefully we will. And then I also picked up this little sign thing. Is it a sign? Yeah, it's Mr and Mrs. Oh, mache, mache, like paper mache letters. I'm not sure, maybe I don't know, that's what it says, I've not heard of that, but I'm not very crafty. This is from Aldi, and inside the box, it's just Mrs. and Mrs. and Mr. Mr. and Mrs. letters, the little cardboard letters. This was a pound for the little set, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, it's all there. I just suddenly thought, well, one of it's not there, but every letter is there. So hopefully we can get to use that as well. I don't think I will, um, but you could paint them all you know, put tissue paper and do the decoupage thing. But they're quite nice as they are. They're quite nice, like just in this cardboardy, woody colour. So that was a pound. That was also from RSPCA. And the ginger ale props were too. 
This was a pound from RSPCA. It's a little um, bowl. Like it's like um, a white company dish, dish or a bowl. I think it's more of a dish. Either sort of, it probably is an oven dish or it could be a, a bowl for cereal. But I got one from a car boot sale. It's the white company and it was a pound and it's really sim similar to this. So I can put them, if I did a little table thing, I could put them together and they look lovely. And that was a pound. Just a really nice heart shaped dish. I do love heart things. I always like, I'm always quite attracted to them. And these were in there as well, some little confetti. So the lady just said I could have them. So that says, throw me, oh, throw some love. They're just little confetti petals. So a pound for that, which I'll just put here. And then what else have I got? Oh, that's cute. A little wooden heart from Priscilla Bacon Charity Shop. And that was 50p. So a really nice sort of, weighs nothing you got one of those really light drift woody hearts so that was 50p and i also got from priscilla bacon a couple of cards whenever i see things like this really cute cards i find it hard to leave them behind so i thought i would get them and they are for valentine's day so i'll just put them in my card drawer and then i'll forget about them and see them in 10 years not really i'll remember in february and then i'll grab one for lee and i can get one for me look that says the inseparables perfect match it's nice isn't it like canaries i think this is like a norwich one maybe like norwich football the price on the back says three pounds fifty and it was only 50p from priscilla bacon and that one was 50p as well and that's from it says artwork by alison black yeah so cute little cards they're good quality cards i do love a card so i just got them because because why not i love this next thing that i'm going to show you so if you follow me on my house account on Instagram, which is um, Kate's Homely Home, and that'll be linked in the description in case you want to say hi or follow me on Instagram. I also have a normal account for myself for, um, you know, well, the other one is me as well, but it's the house. And then the other one is pictures of me or in different outfits. And I show a lot of mugs as well. So they'll both be linked in the description. So come say hi on either or both or whatever. Anyway, this was on my house account the other day. I did a picture in the bathroom and that was on the like bath what's it called you know you put one of those things across the bath a little tray thing a bath tray that goes across the bath um and it's just so cute it's a pot this is just from poundland this little um fake plant so i just chucked that in there i love the lady's face she's given you a little wink and her mouth is like a, a heart almost it's just so simple i love things like this I haven't got many things like, like this. I haven't got any sort of amazing plant pots. So this is, yeah, I was really happy when I found this. It was two pounds and it was from Sue Ryder, charity shop in Great Yarmouth. And the make is, it says Ivy Line something on the bottom. Ivy Line group or Ivy Line, I don't know, but really lovely little, um, little plant pot. So two pounds for that. And what else have I got? A couple of things for Toby. And then I've got some clothes to show you. So this is just a really simple, like crafty kit thing. And I think you'll like this. It says on the top, engraving art, gold foil. And it's just, it just says hardware. Okay, hardware. Maybe that's where it was sold. I don't know. It was a pound. Oh yeah. So it cost me a pound, but it was only a pound. So I don't know. You can do something with this maybe scratch something oh here we go on the back it says gold foil engraving art get the best get the best result from your foil art the picture is pre-printed with a lighter picture shadow which leaves clear guidelines to the artist eight plus that's perfect because toby's eight well it's going to be nine soon so we shall do this look we can do something together and do some foil art he likes stuff like that so we'll do that together at some point I don't know when, but I'm sure he'll like it. And I also picked up this cute little game. Oh, that was from, where was that from? Break Charity Shop, that one in Stalham as well. And this is a game. I think this is from Break Charity Shop. It says Prickly Pile Up, a stacking game for the whole family house of marbles with cute little hedgehogs. This is just really cute looking, this game. It's kind of retro 
just really sweet and I love a little stacker game we've got one from home bargains it's chairs and you just stack the chairs and they fall over it's so simple but really fun I don't know why it's that we love playing that me and Toby play... oh that's loud me and Toby play the chair game quite a lot and this is obviously the same kind of um thing but it's got little wooden hedgehogs instead of little plastic chairs so really cute and that was £1.50 so we'll look forward to playing that oh look hedgehog's got mug of the day mug of the day did I say mug of the day for this one mug of the day if I didn't I do apologize but yeah all these little hedgehogs have got their own mugs of the day I like that one I like these I like your mugs a little like red polka dot mugs nice mug so yeah £1.50 for that game it looks very sweet right i'm on to the clothes now so this isn't a massive haul but i've just got some lovely bits that i wanted to show you and i'm actually wearing a hairband that i bought from i think it was in my previous charity shop haul this was a pound and it goes really nicely with my jumper this is from next and i bought this brand new probably about four or five years ago i think it's a really nice jumper actually it's got this bit's kind of silk and um this is like knittedy navy blue knitted jumper with silk on the front so i haven't worn this a lot i should wear this more i think i like it and the hairband sort of matches like the red bit here and the red bit there i think this is fake gucci someone said it in the um when i did a haul last time showing it someone said it's gucci darling but like fake gucci right so let me show you these clothes I'll stop going on about what i've got on now um this skirt looks really nice i haven't tried it on but i love the color and it was on the pound rail, <coughs> excuse me, pound rail outside. Hang on, I'll have a sip of this. It's not an edit one, though, so I've got to keep talking. That's better. Yeah, it was on the pound rail outside RSPCA charity shop. Oh, it's from Next. I thought it was um, an Asda one or a new look one. So it's from Next, size 14. And it's just a nice denim skirt with a frayed bottom. I do like a frayed bottom. It's dusky pink and I'm really hoping this fits me. I'm sure it will because neck sizes are quite, they're quite big, aren't they? They're quite, not forgiving, quite giving. Is that the word? They're quite, they're always a bit, they give you, they're giving. They're like, they, I don't know. You know what I mean? They feel, they sort of give you a bit more. That thing when thick clothes are generous. They're generous, their sizes are generous. Okay, so back to this, size 14, it says step hem skirt. So hopefully that will fit. And it's got little pockets, really like it. It looks like it'd be slightly longer at the back too. I hope it's not too short. So I will try that on. Hopefully it will look good. This isn't a try on haul, this is just a, a showy you the stuff haul. And then I will do a try on one at some point when I've got some more clothes. So I, I promise to do that next time. Now I've got two jumpers and a dress to show you. This is a navy blue jumper a lovely cozy soft jumper and I can't wait to wear this actually I forgot about it it was in a bag waiting to show you then I put out a bag and I was like yay this is something um, I'm gonna love wearing and I'd rather be shopping which obviously I would not now because this is a YouTube video but most of the time I'd rather be shopping at a charity shop or at car boot sales and home bargains and Poundland and Astor Online they're like my, my favorite shops and everything five pounds because I do videos with them and you can get good things but then there wouldn't be enough room to put that on the jumper this was uh oh there's no price in it I think it was two quid from RSPCA and it's um Primark so size 12 Primark jumper that to me looks brand new so it's just a really nice jumper like a proper jumper so it just goes you know it's got a nice round neck and then it'll just be really comfy and that looked nice with um blue jeans as well this other jumper here i've been want i keep i keep wanting to wear it and i was going to wear it for this video then i was like no i need to show it properly because i wouldn't be able to it's so lovely so this was from sue rider charity shop in great yarmouth and it was three pounds it hasn't got the label in but it's from asda and this again feels brand new it feels in such perfect condition it doesn't look like it's been worn at all you know that especially when it's like knitted like this is it knitted what does it say on the bottom or in here this is large dry flat oh it doesn't, oh here we go 
79% acrylic polyester elastane. But this kind of thing goes bobbly quite quickly, doesn't it? So when you see things in charity shops like this, you can't always get them because they're bobbled, but this is perfect. And it's got purple, like orange and pink, kind of a bit like a jockey top. I could put like a jockey in my, in my jumper. And then on the back, it's just sort of purple with red at the bottom. So really nice. And yeah, that was three pounds. It's got quite a high neck as well. I do like a high neck, so love that jumper. It's very autumnal and it's squidgy and soft. I like you. And now I'm on to my final item. It is this lovely dress. And this is from RSPCA in Stalham. And again, it's just really pretty pattern. I don't know why I said again, because the others aren't really patterned, are they? But this is patterned. It's um kind of silky. You might not be able to tell. I'll try and do a bit of a close up. It's sort of got a flower imprint underneath it, if you can see that on the fabric. Don't know if that, oh, there you go. You can slightly, you can see it there. And that's kind of going all the way through. So it's black with green and this pink as well. I really like that. I'm hoping, I haven't tried this on. I forgot about this as well because it was in the bag for the other things. But I'm hoping this will fit. This would be great with tights and boots. It's got short sleeves, a round neck and think it just goes in at the waist and then flares out so I really hope that fits because I love the look of it if it doesn't fit though I'm sure it will I will pass it on to my friend Louise because I think she'd love this dress as well it's a size 12 from Dorothy Perkins as you can see there and yeah hopefully I wear that and put a picture on Instagram soon so that is the final thing in this haul I'll just put it there. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like and make sure you subscribe. And I will speak to you very soon. I've got, what am I doing? What have I got next? Oh, sorry. That was the wooden heart. Rufus did a little jump. Sorry, Rufus. Car boot sale. That's my next video. So on Wednesday, I've got a car boot sale haul. And then I think the following week, oh, I haven't written that down. I haven't got that far. But there will be a car boot sale haul. Um, on Wednesday at two o'clock but let me know your favourite item in this haul I'm getting excited because I've nearly finished it and, and I've not done an edit yeah I always love that um, so yeah let me know your favourite item in this haul I love I love the plant pot really love it I think that's just so cute and the heart bowl I also love all of the clothes I think they're really nice so hopefully they will fit me as well which would be a bonus but thank you for watching write your favorite item in the comments give the video a like make sure you subscribe as well and i will speak to you on wednesday come over to instagram i think i said that at the beginning i'm kate mccabe my house account is kate's homely home and they will be linked in the description box along with some videos that i've done recently so have a look at those if you want to watch any more but thanks for watching have a lovely weekend and i will speak to you soon bye